Hardest thing. Um, honestly, we had a lot of early mornings. That was pretty hard. Uh, one thing about we film in Atlanta and we film September to like mid December. And one thing is we have a lot of scenes because it's set in California. So we have a lot of scenes where we're in shorts and a tank top. And it's in December in Atlanta and it's like 32 degrees outside. So, I mean, in season one, that uh, the very, I think it's the last party scene at the beach. Um, that it was freezing. It was like high twenties, like low thirties. It was so cold. And you got these girls in you know booty shorts and stuff, and they're just like so cold. You know, just trying to say all their lines. The, the big three, the writers are just like, hey guys, like, just try not to act cold, right? It's a summer, you know. And so that was. I mean, the weather thing is hard, but I mean, the training. I'd say we do a lot of training. I think the stretching is actually the stretching. The stretching is the hardest part. That's definitely really rough, but... <laughs> yeah, so an hour stretching a day, is that right? We would, yeah, so we would do this thing where we would, you know, snug our butts up against a wall, like, facing it, so here's the wall, and you would put your legs in the wall, and Hito and Janelle, our coordinators, would come and just start pressing down on your legs, and we would sit just, they would, like, press for, like, five minutes, and then you would sit, like, on your match for, like, 15 minutes, and we would just be there, just, like, all, it's, like... All of us on a wall, like me, Tanner, Mary, and Sholo, we would just be like so dead at the end. And you get off the wall, and your legs like almost don't want to go back to close. So you just sit in a ball afterwards. I mean, it was really fun. Like, we were joking around the whole time. But I mean, they definitely put us through some hard training. But yeah. You know what's crazy is when I first read. For the role, I read for the Dimitri character, and it was called Tanzit at the time, which I don't really know why, but that was just the name. Uh, and I went and read, they are like, oh yeah, good job. And then they were like, it was good, but not like good enough, you can read for Eli, he's got one line, you know? <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, but it was, I was like, it's, Co- it's freaking Cobra Kai, I'm still gonna like go 110%, you know? And uh, I get in the room, start reading, and uh, they're like, oh, you got the wrong sides. So they handed me, like, the hawk sides. I was like, whoa, this is way, d- like, is this even the same character? And then in the room, they explained to me, they're like, oh, yeah, there's this cool arc. And I was like, oh, now I really want this role, you know? Like, because that's so sick. And, but yeah, I didn't really know. I was, uh, the first season, um, I was just flying back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because uh, I was a guest star. So I'd, you know, be in Atlanta for four days filming, being back in LA for two days and go back out for another three days, you know, so it was constantly back and forth. So it felt like very just like jumbled and rushed, but then when the show really came together, I was like, oh wow, I'm like, I'm in it like a lot. Like, it's pretty cool, you know? Um, and it was cool to see like the feedback of how many people like just really liked Hawk, you know? He's sort of like this symbol of you just can get a mohawk and a back tattoo and babes start flocking, you learn karate, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a, yeah. My buddies joke around and say it to me all the time, you know, because I'm not as cool as Hawk is. I wish I was. I'm glad that you know for four months out of the year I get to be the most badass kid in the world. But and you brought it up now. How was the, how long did it take to do the, the, the Hawk tattoo? Your tattoo. And you yeah, the back tattoo. It's actually. Uh, it's real. I wish you. My mom would kill me. Oh my gosh. No, yeah, no, like that would be real. My mom would find out. She's she's. <laughs> But uh, no, yeah, the, the hawk tattoo, it's it, it's cut into three pieces. And it's like a temporary tattoo. It takes probably like twenty to thirty minutes, and I just like sand with my shirt off like this. And I actually have uh, I have some scars on my shoulder blades and on like the bottom of my back from skating, just because I like was skating and ate at one time. And they actually kind of use those scars to like pinpoint where to put the wings and stuff. Yeah, so that's kind of like a weird little thing that they do. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about playing Hawk? I mean, you love him as a character. It just seems like a lot of fun. Dude. Like, you kind of get to cut loose. Yeah. I think the coolest thing about Hawk is, yeah, just that factor of being able to cut loose and do anything. It's really fun to um, just sort of, like, snap into the character and just be so aggressive. And, like, nothing is too aggressive at a certain point, you know? Especially in Season 2, you get to see a lot more of just the sort of built-up anger that's been you know, in Hawk and a little bit of backstory with Eli and you see more of that. So I think that's pretty cool to see.
Yeah. Uh, I've seen one and two. I haven't seen three or the next Karate Kid. It's kind of wild because I mean I. There's like four or five movies my dad was like, you have to watch these, you know. Um, you know, one was, it was like Ocean's Eleven and Usual Suspects and Karate Kid was one of them. And my brother and I used to argue of who get to be Daniel LaRusso to like kick each other in the face, you know. Because like who really wants to be fake kicked in the face, right? Um, and so we would just wrestle all the time just over the Karate Kid, you know. And it's just, I mean, the movie's just so cool, you know. I mean, Miyagi was just kind of like everyone's dad almost, you know. So... It's it's kind of surreal to like grow up and like know that this is a huge cultural phenomenon and how like brilliant of a movie it is, and then years later be a part of the same storyline. You know, that's that's kind of wild, honestly. Yeah. You have a preference between the two? I always thought two was actually insanely underrated, and that's one of the better sequels out there. I, I probably saw two more than one when I was a kid, strangely. But yeah, I don't know. No honestly, I probably like one more. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's just because that's, like, the first one I saw, and it was, like, the first karate movie I ever saw, you know what I mean? Like, it was before I saw any Bruce Lee movies, like, any, you know, any of that Jet Li stuff, like, Jackie Chan stuff, so. Interesting, I guess me too when I was a kid. Yeah, like, that was the first, like, so when I thought of, you know, like, fighting movies, that was the first thing I thought of, you know? that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, so I feel like one, it just holds, like, more of a special place in my heart, just because it was, like, the first thing was, like, whoa, that's so cool. And especially in that, like, like for me, like, there was no, like, all-valley tournament. You know, there wasn't somewhere I could go, like, watch and watch kids beat each other up that went to the same high school. You know what I mean? Like, that didn't happen. So, for, like, in this movie world, for that to happen, it was like, damn, that's sick. Like, I would love to beat up Eric, you know? Like, <laughs> God, me and him were just on that platform for 30 seconds, you know? Um, but, yeah, that's sort of, like, cool stuff. Going back to the original movies... The villain and the hero aspect. Yeah. Johnny or, or Danny. Who, I, mean, we I love... Like I'm a villain that I Yeah. Like I mean, you know, I think the movie is very skewed towards, like, <laughs> Daniel's the hero. I mean, obviously, right? right yeah. Uh, but, you know, there's that How I Met Your Mother episode yeah. where, yeah, yeah. where he's like, no, Johnny's the hero, <laughs> you know, Daniel's the jerk, you know? <laughs> Which is kind of cool, you know, and I think that, not that Cobra Kai plays into that, but I think it just shows like, hey, there's two sides of every coin, you know, and I think it's cool, and they even do that with, you know, the students of Miyagi-Do that you'll come to see, and the students of Cobra Kai, and I think that's a very cool thing that they show. Obviously, me, I'm more uh, on a villain mindset, just because I sort of embody that (laughs) you know, darkness a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Marty always, Marty plays Sensei Kreese, he always likes to say, ah, my shadow students, you know? He, he just like he's great. He's like half in character all the time, you know? He's the funniest guy. But yeah. Yeah, you guys rock. This is awesome. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see it. This will be dope. See you later, guys. Bye.